Let's be honest. No one wants to admit they're an addict, including me. But as I received a notification from Apple telling me my average screen time has increased from seven hours and forty-one minutes to eight hours and four minutes, I know I have a problem. Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, and here we are, yet another app created to keep us even more hooked to our devices. With the overabundance of pleasure available in modern society, we often find ourselves falling into the trap of instant gratification, seeking substances or engaging in behaviors that bring us immediate pleasure, or so they called a dopamine hit. But according to Dr. Anna Lemke, professor of psychiatry at Stanford School of Medicine. The ultimate pursuit of dopamine would eventually make us feel worse than when we started it. You have to imagine that in your brain there's a balance. When we experience pleasure, the balance tips one way. When we experience pain, it tips the other.、Um, but one of the fundamental rules governing that balance is that it wants to remain level. Okay, so let me give you an example. I like to have an ice cream on a hot summer day, and when I have it, I get a little dopamine rush. And the moment when I start to feel the craving of having another ice cream, that's when the pain side of the balance trying to downregulate. If I can just ignore the craving, often that slight unease that I experience at the beginning of the craving will disappear, and the dopamine level will eventually re-regulate itself and go back to the baseline level. But if I continue to indulge in more and more ice cream, nine times out of ten, I'll end up feeling way worse than before. But most of us don't experience extreme pain when we are separated from our devices. However, we somehow seem to have lost the ability to tolerate even the mildest form of discomfort. Whenever we feel bored, we immediately look for things to entertain and distract us from the present moments. But there is value in boredom, as it opens up the space necessary for new thought to form. Without it, we are endlessly reacting to things around us. Rather than allowing ourselves to fully immerse in our lived experiences. Okay, so tomorrow I'm gonna go on a little dopamine detox for 24 hours.、Um, I'm not gonna eliminate all the dopamine sources, just the ones that I have a problem with, which means no phone, no laptop, and、uh, I'll include my Apple Watch as well because I don't want to receive any notifications during the day. I think it would be quite an interesting experiment because even though I have been in situations where I don't have my phone or any devices with me, I have never intentionally put myself into boredom. It's only been a couple of hours since I started this whole experiment, but I'm already feeling anxious about the fact that I'm not doing anything right now. I feel like I'm being very unproductive, and there is a voice in the back of my head telling me that I should go get my laptop immediately. But the thing is, 
It's not like I can be 100% focused on work, even if I have my laptop with me. I'll still be going on YouTube and watch a bunch of random videos. So I think this is one of those calm down effects that Dr. Lemke described in her podcast. being dramatic right now but I am listening to Ed's Red Collective's album Where I'm Meant to Be by the way okay let me show you this one um, Where I'm Meant to Be it's a great album please go listen to it if you haven't already um, but anyway it's not the first time that I'm listening to this album on vinyl but somehow after a whole day of no technology and minimal distractions. These tunes seem to have more substance than usual. Like I don't even know how to describe what I'm feeling right now because I just got a bunch of emotions washed over me. I know that I sound crazy and I know I sound dramatic but it felt like I was listening to them play in a studio for the first time. It's just crazy. Okay guys, um, I just took out my phone and my laptop and my watch and um, let me tell you, I really did enjoy this whole experiment. It was really interesting to see that I have all these different come down effects. But then afterwards, I was able to stay very focused on whatever I was doing. I finished two books, which is kind of insane considering it took me about like, what, two months to finish the last one. So I highly recommend you guys to give it a try. Even if you don't believe you are that addicted, I promise you, you will find surprising things about yourself and the relationship you have with your drug of choice, um, which can be your phone, your laptop, video games, food, anything that you want to change, anything that's having some sort of negative impact in your life right now. You can try stay away from it for as little as 24 hours. Really, it doesn't hurt to try, right? I'm not saying you're gonna come out a changed person, but it's enough 
to give you some sort of clarity. I probably will do longer experiments in the future. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate y'all. And uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one.